New tonight at 5, it's almost crawfish season. Mardi Gras gets a lot of us in the mood to boil some mud bugs. Yeah, but they could be hard to come by this year, and if you snag some, expect to pay a pretty price. THV 11's Brooke Buckner shows us how a short supply is affecting some local businesses. We're already behind by three weeks. Eat My Catfish typically has crawfish by now and plenty of it. But this year, the restaurant's president, Travis Hester, says things are different. We're talking to the guy who's in the field, catching them, looking at them, and trying to figure out what's happened to this crop. Hester says according to his two crawfish farmers in Louisiana, the heat and drought is the reason for a lot less of them this year. They're saying that the supply would be down at least half this year. So yeah, we're, we're anticipating uh, less availability which will hurt probably the people trying to boil at home as much. Um, prices are probably be a little bit higher in the end. Floyd's Meat and Seafood in Sherwood is expecting the same changes this year too. Owner Lisa Marshall says customers are already calling asking when they can get some crawfish. Unfortunately, right now she doesn't have that exact answer. Right now the uh, people in charge are saying March or mid-April. So and then it's going to be short and sweet and done. So be prepared. Instead of crawfish boils for your Super Bowl party, she says you might have to have shrimp. We usually average about 70 to 80,000 pounds. And that is usually from February to the end of May. And uh, this year, it's, this is really impossible to tell. I'd say we're probably going to be down by three quarters, if not more. And as far as the cost goes, Marshall and Hester aren't sure exactly what that looks like yet. And there's so many factors. But we'll just have to take it when, when it comes. While there are still a lot of unknowns, they do know customers will be happy once it finally arrives. Can't wait to get those bowling buckets and those big plates of crawfish and seeing those friends and family gather around the table just shucking them as fast as they can. In Pulaski County, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. I don't know what I'm going to do with all that cayenne pepper. According to Baton Rouge Business Report, crawfish prices are almost double where they were a year ago.